lesions of dead flesh up to 14 inches wide can be caused by hey everyone welcome back to my channel so obviously i sound and look um clearly i'm sick so if this is your first time on my channel normally i don't sound like this i figured it'd be fun to do something a little bit different and talk about this article i found i also brought our brown recluse friend or my laxicelles reclusa if you don't remember him i made this video about him and i made this video about him and you guys seem to really like it and honestly those are some of my favorite videos that i think i've done on this channel i just love I'm talking about brown recluse and I think one of the reasons why is because they're such a misunderstood spider and you know even for quite a while after I was keeping tarantulas they were still the one spider I was not comfortable with like when I find a jumping spider I'm always like super happy I pick it up I want to take pictures of it I want to figure out what species it is I might even keep it but whenever I find a brown recluse I'm always like Hmm. There's that stigma. They are a very misunderstood spider, like I said. So, of course, my videos, I was intending to, to make them less scary, especially for people who don't keep spiders. Now, I know a lot of you guys who watch my channel and other channels like mine often say that my videos help you overcome your fear of spiders. I know a lot of you guys actually are still afraid of spiders, and you watch my videos to kind of try to change that. So, thank you. That's how I got over my fear of spiders. Okay, so on to what I wanted to talk about in this video. I came across this article. It's on dailymail.co.uk. The headline, poisonous spider that rots flesh with a single bite found in Mexico. And on the photograph shown, it is clearly a Laxicelles species because you can see the fiddle on its back. If you didn't know, this is just one species of an entire genera. So this is the Laxicelles reclusa, but there are others very similar to this, some a little bit more venomous even, found throughout the world. So yes, this is a brown recluse, but this is only one species of brown recluse. The name brown recluse is a common name, so that can blanket more than just one species, even though it's very similar, Laxicelles reclusa, brown recluse. You can still apply it, I guess, to like the Chilean recluse. So anyway, I found this article and I of course had to click it because it's fear-mongling right off the bat. Like this is the complete opposite of what I try to do with my videos. I try to educate and make people not afraid of spiders and brown recluse. But this article is fear-mongling for clicks, which I mean, I get it. Being somebody on social media, yeah, I get it. Okay, you want clicks, but at what cost? So I open the article and I guess we should just go over it together. First of all, there's pop-ups everywhere. Stop it. So the title of the article, there's so many things wrong with it. Let's talk about first, it says poisonous spider. We know that spiders aren't poisonous, they're venomous. So we, we are not even one word into this article and it's already wrong. And then I like how they say it rots fresh. Anyway, it's found in Mexico and it's funny because a lot of the people I saw like freaking out about it live in like the UK and that's quite a quite a bit away from Mexico. So I don't think you're gonna come across one of these in your cupboard. Venomous spider that lurks in clothes and furniture with toxic bite that rots human flesh is discovered in Mexico. So at least they kind of tweaked the title a little bit to say venomous instead of poisonous because poison you ingest, venom is injected. It lurks in clothes and furniture. Like literally pretty much every other spider. Any spider can be there. They like dark places, so same. Laxicelles tenochtitlan was found in Mexico by scientists, so I guess it is a new species. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. It finally says, its venom is not thought to be lethal, but can cause vast lesions of dead flesh. So it's not lethal. But of course you had to portray it that way to, you know, get the attention. Did you get the attention you wanted? Was it nice? So it can cause vast lesions. This is going back to, to like the whole brown recluse thing we've talked about multiple times on my channel. Is it the venom that causes the very rare instances of necrosis? Or is it, which this is what's more likely, is it a secondary infection from the bacteria on the spider's fangs? Why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? Which causes an infection that could be caused by any break in the skin, whether it be a paper cut, a bite from a wolf spider, a bite from a jumping spider, a bite from a brown recluse, a bite from a cat, literally anything. Because as we've talked about in past videos about the brown recluse, I'm sure you remember, I said spider bites are so commonly misdiagnosed. Granted, I'm not a doctor, don't at me, but how many doctors do you think even know the venom potency of different species of spiders and tarantulas? They're not entomologists, they're not really scientists, 
to end in that field anyway. So I don't think it's too wild to say that they're not going to know and they're going to probably just assume that this infection on your skin was caused by a spooky brown recluse. Now, mm, could have, could have been, could have, yeah, sure, of course. Especially if you live in an area with a very dense population of brown recluse like I do. I mean, I, I do know people who have been bit by them just putting on pants that they had on the floor, you know, it happens. Now, since this Laxacellius is same genera uh, as our friend right here, we know that it is similar. They're, they're like cousins, they're related in a sense. So we know that the spider, it, it's, it's still a spider and it's in this genera. So we know it's probably not going to want to bite you. We know that it's probably going to want to hide in your furniture and clothes and not bother you. I mean, it took scientists this long to discover this species. So you know it's not out here in everyone's clothes and furniture making the flesh run off their bones. It, we, we know that's not what's happening. Moving on further into the article, it says only attacks humans if it feels threatened and prefers to hide in isolated spots. Why couldn't this be the first point you made? You have to get everybody freaked out and then like slowly we kind of increasingly gets less scary because yeah, I mean, so there's inaccuracies in the article, but I do have to say at least they do kind of get a little bit more factual. Venom's not thought to be lethal, only attacks humans if threatened, prefers to hide. So at least they like get into that. So I, I can like commend them on that, I guess. As we go further into the article, it says, scientists have discovered a species of venomous spider with venom so potent that it rots human flesh with a single bite. Lesions of dead flesh up to 14 inches wide can be caused by an attack, but the animal is not thought to be lethal. Attack, I, I literally, a spider attack. Like I'm picturing so many funny things in my head right now. A spider attack. You mean, what do you mean? <laughs> you mean you put on pants that had a spider in it and it got scared and bit you? Is that what an attack is? is? Is that what it is? As we get further into the article, it starts to like be a little bit more interesting. The new species was discovered by biologist and university professor Alejandro Valadez Mondragon. Together with his students, Claudia Navarro, Karen Solis, Myra Cortez, and Alma Jerez. The academics initially mistook the beast. Come on guys, let's not be name calling. That's not nice. The academics initially mistook the beast for another related species which lives in the Mexican states of Guerrero and Morales, Laxacelles mestiza. It goes on to say that the professor says as it is very similar to the Laxacelles mesteca, we thought it had been introduced to this region by the shipping of ornamental plants. But when doing molecular biology studies of both species, we realized that they are completely different. That is super cool. Like that's very similar to the Brachypilma smithy and the Brachypilma homori, how we thought they were the same. They were all Brachypilma smithy. And then eventually, thanks to science, we kind of dove a little bit deeper and realized that they're actually two different species. And that's super important to know. It says Professor Valdez Mondragon also warned that the species lashes out at humans with its vicious bite if it feels threatened. At least they put if it feels threatened. I mean, I'm not going to say that the bite wouldn't suck. I'm sure it, it wouldn't be a great experience. Known as the recluse spider, the eight-legged critter is most comfortable hiding in holes between objects, furniture, or in walls. The article kind of just goes in a little bit deeper about where you could find them in a home in this area of Mexico. This is really interesting though, I didn't know this, but it says Mexico is the country with the highest diversity of the genus Laxacelles as 40 out of 140 species that exist in the world are native to the country. That's actually really cool. So yeah, if you didn't know, this is only one of 140 species. I didn't even know it was that many. So yeah, the article was a little flashy, but at least they did kind of include some cool facts in there and they kind of clarified it a little bit more. Some of it is like a little, a little laughable, but you know what? The article is not that bad. It's not that bad. It could be worse. If you Google it though, and you like Google probably like new Mexican, recluse or something. I'm sure you would find some articles that are a lot worse than that. They didn't do too bad of a job. I'll link the article down below if you want to check it out and read the whole thing. It's not long. I, I think I kind of did a pretty good summary of it, but you know, if you want to look at, there's also a video on their website. So yeah, you could go look at that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was probably a little bit different, but I, I just wanted to put something out there for you guys. I saw this article. I thought it was pretty funny. If you guys like this video, let me know. Maybe we could do more like this. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon linked below, among other things. And I will see you guys soon.